So what's your name and where are you from? David Robinson from Bloomington, Illinois. Nice. And this is your favorite flower blooming at Bob Faulkner's Day. Favorite one that I'm allowed to pick. All right. I'll say that. Why do you like it? Well, first there's a ton of flowers out here at Bob's that are just absolutely amazing. Found this one blooming in the seedling field. Nice. Um, I'll tell you what I like about it. It has a great color to it. Nice contrast. Almost a pattern in the eye. You can kind of see the, the whiteness in between the throat, uh -huh. the throat eye, now I'll call the petal eye. And so you got two eyes going on in here. The other thing I like about it, which may not be able to pick up on the camera, it has raised tissue on the sepals. Wow. Making that pattern really pop out. Yeah. It's almost, it's a three dimensional kind of effect going on. Right. I think Bob missed selecting this one. It was kind of buried in there, but uh -huh. uh, if I'm lucky, I might, might take this home with me. Nice. But lots of patterns out here. But this and one stood out to me for, for the, mostly for the sepal reason. When you can notice the edge kind of has a little bit going on on with it. Right, yeah. Has, I think this will be a good breeder flower. Uh -huh. Looks like it has really good pollen on it. Cool. I normally go for the larger size, six, seven inch plus, but I can, I can breed some of my larger stuff to this uh, to increase the size, but hopefully carry over that, that sepal pattern and the double eye. Yeah. Well, thanks. Yeah, no problem. Welcome. All right. What is your name and where are you from? Oh, my name is Rick Simpson and I am from Massachusetts, so I have a very bad accent. Wow, it's cold. <laughs> so yeah. uh, this this area is sort of your favorite two beds of Bob Faulkner's. What do you like in these beds? Yeah, well, this, there is a lot to like. These are a bunch of his selects and futures uh -huh. that are in here. Um, right off the bat is this one here. That is really something. It's like a nice yellow wow. base and it's got some pattern inside and we have blues purples purple edge green throat i mean there's not much not to like about that flower wow um there's pretty much all of them are, are great around this area uh-huh um this is a great one too it's similar to that but different patterns on the sepals this one here is a little unique it's got uh i call it like a shadow pattern yeah inside the eye has nice white sepals that one's neat i mean you can just kind of look at almost all of these it's just incredible patterns i think he may introduce this one next year nice and that is a really cool flower you don't usually see something like that with a, a very light eye that just fades to the dark mm -mm. dark border on the pattern there that one's really neat. And then another one. I think he's definitely lined this one out for introduction someday. And that's just a huge flower. It's usually even bigger than that, just wow. because it hasn't rained. And that thing is incredible. It's like a dinner plate. It just opens completely flat. Right. And uh, I mean, <laughs> as you can see, just about any of them, they're just, everybody likes something different, but just incredible stuff in this row. Yeah, it's hard to yeah. choose. It is, it is. Yeah. I couldn't pick one. I could pick <laughs> about all of them, but. <laughs> I get that. Well, thanks. Thank you. So what's your name and where are you from? My name is Bob Faulkner and I am from, well, Earth, <laughs> but more specifically Dayton, Ohio, Little York Road. Oh, so this is your garden. Yes, it is. Oh, okay, wow. So, which is your favorite daylily, you would say, so far? I think uh, one of my favorites, I don't have a favorite, but one I like that bloomed last year, was I garden named it Orchid. Uh -huh. It's like six-way branch. It's got beautiful purple color in it. It's got white eyes on the sepals. I'll show it to you if you want to see it. It's down here. I don't know. You don't okay, know? Okay, yeah, I'll, 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 look, okay. I'll look at it. Here it is. Wow. It's got just great purple color. It holds up in the sun all day. It's fertile both ways. Like I said, it has six-way branching. Um, I love the green throat. I love the form. It just looks like a finished daylily. Wow, it's beautiful. And uh, last year I bred it so much I planted 400 seedings out of it this Holy spring. Holy cow. Yeah. So that's that's a garden favorite. That's incredible. It'll be out probably in two years. I've got it lined up. Wow. And you're going to name it after me. What's your name? <laughs> 
Well, thanks for showing. Oh, thanks. All right, what's your name and where are you from? I'm John Nicholson. I'm from Rolla, Missouri, St. James. Nice. And, uh, you know, as for the favorite flower in Bob's garden, uh -huh. it's hard to pick just one. But if I had to pick just one, it'd probably be this one right here. Wow. What do you like about it? It seems like the longer you look at it, the more you see. The colors keep coming out. It just seems to have so much depth to it. Yeah. It's just a beautiful, beautiful piece of Bob's garden. Yeah, there's a lot of colors going on in it. Oh yeah, pattern, hidden patterns back in here. Uh-huh. And it's just like, it, it's endless. Endless possibilities with this one. And a really good plant. It's pretty tall too. Yep, it's got good plant habit. Nice. Way up in the air, you don't have to break your back putting pollen on it. Cool. Well, thanks. Yeah. All right. What is your name and where are you from? My name is Jacob Henry and I am from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Oh, and very cool. My favorite daylily of Bob's here at Bob Faulkner's Daylilies uh -huh. is this beautiful flower right here. Oh. Huh. Um, okay. I well, just. Huh? I mean, that one there, it's actually not Bob's. That's uh, somebody else's introduction there, so that's not. Oh. That's not his, so. Uh, so, uh, okay. what's your name and where are you from? My name is Jacob Henry and I'm from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Oh, wow. Come a long way to come see this place, huh? Yeah. So, cool. my favorite daylily that I've seen so far. Yes, uh, yes. Bob Faulkner's. Yep. Is this flower right here. Oh, well, um, you know, that's actually not Bob's. You know that, right? Oh, well, I yeah. like this one, too. That one there is, uh not bob's either actually um do you like any of bob's stuff or have you seen anything at all or does he grow his own stuff here um yeah i'm pretty much everything well, except the... i like this one right here um oh yeah that's that's not that's not bob's actually that's a tetraploid actually that's not even a diploid so i don't uh, i don't i yeah. don't like any of his oh all right all right so uh what's your name and where are you from my name is Jacob Henry, and I'm from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Wow, awesome, awesome. Came all the way here to see Bob's flowers. I did, Bob's flowers. And, uh, this is probably my favorite. This is one of his, right? Yeah, actually that, that one is his, yes. Great, absolutely. great. This yeah. is, I love it so much because if you notice the pattern on it, uh, especially around the eye, you, really? you might not can see yeah, it. Yeah, maybe, maybe this, well, actually I'm looking at it too, so the camera is picking up. Yeah. The right colors here. Um, it's a lot of colors going on. Really? Oh. Very. This is his number one pattern breeder, and he, as that, you can, that one is that yes, right there. And as you can tell, huh. he loves patterns, and he's very, very good huh. at breeding patterns. Yeah, that's his snow almost white. They introduced right. that in 2015, but that's um, that's really not one of his patterns. He, he only has maybe one or two introductions that don't have pattern. That's one of them. Um, yeah. I think so, that this is his best one he's done. Really? Mm -hmm. Huh. Well, I guess there is a day lily for everybody. Yeah, um, there is. Yeah. Well, that's that's <laughs> very that's that's great. Thank you very much. You're welcome.